Hi guys, my name is Said Murtaza Kamali. In this video, I am going to show you how you can convert a shader toy to Unity. First of all, let's see what is a shader toy. Shader toy is the first application to allow developers all over the globe to push pixels from code to screen using WebGL since 2009. This website is the natural evolution of that original idea. On one hand, it has been rebuilt in order to provide the computer graphics developers and hobbyists with a great platform to prototype, experiment, teach, learn, inspire, and share their creation with the community. On the other, the expressiveness of the shaders has arisen by allowing different types of inputs such as video, webcam, or sound. So, let's start by simple example. We want to convert this shader to Unity. But before starting, it's better to now with parts of this code. What is a shader? What is this code? If you have experience with programming language, you are familiar with uh, parts of code. For example, C++ or C have a main function that executes our code. Similarly, our shader have a main function that execute this uh, code and show result in this screen. Also, our shader have a functions that use in this section. Also, it's better to now part of Unity's shader code. So I create a simple image effect as an example. Unity's shader have a, some parts as a properties, soft shader, passes, vertex and fragment shader. This is our main method as a fragment shader. This is equivalent with our main function in shader toy. So we just need to copy this part and replace with our fragment shader. Also, we should use this part of our code. Shader toys language is GLSL and Unity is a HLSL CG language. So we cannot use directly this shader and we should change the equivalent keywords. I added simple useful replacing in my repository that uh, help you to convert GLSL shader to HLSL. For example, we should convert uh, all vectors to float. So I replace a vec with float right another problem is here on the colored identifier mix equivalent keyword of mix is a lerp so replace it mix with lerp another problem on the colored identifier i time equivalent of i time or i global time is this so let's change our i time to time dot x, y, or z. Nice. 
There is another problem. What is a frag coordinate? We can simply use a UV coordinate to this part. This is a remapping our UV. Another problem, frag color. We should change this float of four. I mentioned in this list of replacing that when we have a single value in our vector 3, we should repeat n times it, like this. I repeat it three times uh, value inside of float 3. So we have a float 4 and single value. So I need to repeat this single value. As you can see, I have a 4 value inside of float 4 return. Let's see the result of our shader. Very well, this was a simple example of converting shader toy to Unity. Also, you can use a my plugin to convert in shader toy to Unity by copying this part and use a name for this shader like plane and convert it easily. Oh, this isn't good because I use a blending to cut a alpha. Nice job. Goodbye.